Welcome to this week's El Cuento, your weekly recap about the ins and outs of the Colegio. My name is Justin Angeles, your host for this week's episode. This episode is a special and long one because it covers a span of not just one, but two weeks. So what are we waiting for, Legionites? Let's start this episode with a bang. October 21 is a special day for our rector and president because it is his birthday. So on behalf of all of us from El Cuento, we would like to greet you, Father Rector, a belated happy, happy birthday. The morning of his birthday, Father Rector celebrated Mass as its presider and homilist, which was attended by various employees, students, athletes, and guests, after which the rector had a simple breakfast for all those present at the Colegio grounds. But his celebration did not end there, as his celebration extended to the lunch period, where a grander feast was made available to all attendees. Once again, happy, happy birthday, Father Rector! Self-care, recharge, reconnect, recreate. This was the event that was spearheaded by the Colegio's HR department for its employees. During the program, the Colegio's most loved and admired faculty staff and administrators were made public and praised for their efforts. A series of fun activities were then made available for all attendees. But let's hear it from the Kaleya's Head of the Human Resources to learn more about what transpired during that day. Uh, this uh, activity is actually under the Utrecht Power Program. Uh, this actually is uh, celebration of the Mental Health Month in which the Colegio uh, shows appreciation to its employees for their contributions uh, to the Colegio. Uh, we all know for that this later for the Colegio knows the importance of mental health for its employees in order for them to be more productive to uh, what they are doing. So this activity helps to, to give them at least a short break so, so they can unwind and at least uh, give importance to their mental health. Remember, Legionites, let's keep our mental health in check. So make sure to take a break every now and then. Kasaysayan or chismis, the role of history and journalism and Philippine politics. An event that featured historian Professor Michael Charleston Shao Chua and PCIJ's Ms. Sherry May Salazar was held last October 21, 2022 at the St. Thomas Hall. It was a serious yet fun activity that delved deep into the fine line of history, opinions, ideas, and even gossip. The event was presented by the Letran Politicus and Scribe Journalism Society. Mr. Albert M. Rosarda, a faculty member of Colegio de San Juan de Letran, has recently risen to the role of president of the Philippine Home Economics Association. After serving as its vice president since 2014, Mr. Rosardo was named its new president during the national conference and training at the Mansion Garden Hotel at Subic Bay Freeport Zone last October 21 to 23, 2022. Congratulations, Mr. Rosarda! Arriba! The Board of Education of the Dominican Province of the Philippines, chaired by Father Clarence Marquez OP held its hybrid meeting at the Manila Yacht Club. The Board of Education is composed of the heads of DPP schools. We should expect good things in the future. Only time will tell. And I myself am quite excited. And with that, all I can say is Arriba! The Coleo would also like to congratulate its 12 new Letran certified public accountants. Everyone knows that passing the board exam is no easy feat, so to have 12 of our own graduates pass is worth noting and praising. Once again, congratulations, Knights! Our Rector and President Reverend Father Clarence Marquez OP is a speaker for this year's Catholic Educational Association of the Philippines National Convention at the SMX Convention Center. Father Rector is joined by Associate Professor Cristina Castro Cabral, PhD, Ms. Jenny Villar, MBA, Assistant Professor Dayan Francisco, MBA, and Assistant Professor Catherine Sanchez, MEN, and focus on the Catholic identity and mission with the topic Fratelli Tutti in Schools. 
The Colegios Institutional Production Team also partook in the production and documentation of the convention at the SMX Convention Center. Arriba, Team Letran! The recent Typhoon Paeng ravaged homes and destroyed livelihoods. Taking into account the extent of Typhoon Paeng's impact to the country, particularly to the students and faculty, an announcement regarding the teaching learning modality for Thursday to Saturday, November 3 to 5, 2022, was released. It specified that classes in all levels were to be asynchronous and scheduled submissions were to be deferred for one week. With the guidance and leadership of the Colegios Community Extension Department, we were able to amass over 57,000 pesos in cash and around 17,000 pesos in kind donations. Volunteers from the trans various offices and departments helped repack and prepare the goods for distribution to the residents of Barangay Santa Rosa 1 and Noveleta Cavite. Uh, magandang hapon po sa lahat, Letranista. Uh, kami po ay lugod na nagpapasalamat mula po sa tulong na ibinigay po ninyo, mula po sa ating uh, donation drive, tulong Letranista donation drive. So kung makikita niyo po, we have uh, tulong Letranista package po dito na kung saan ipapadala po natin sa Barangay Santa Rosa, Noveleta, Juan. Bakit po tayo may tulong Letranista relief package? It's because we are aware naman po sa nangyari sa atin uh, recently na yung bag, uh, Bagyong Paeng. So, one of the community na na sa Lanta ay ang ating uh, mga brothers and sisters sa uh, Cavite. So, we accumulated po uh, a total of 172 relief package. And uh, once again, very thankful po kami sa malalaking puso po ninyo mula sa pagtulong para ma- uh, ibigay po natin itong donation na ito. Maraming salamat. We at El Cuento would like to thank the Colegio's generous donors and sponsors. Arriba! And that's it for this week, Legionites. We hope to see you again soon. And oh, by the way, if you are an ICOM student hoping to hone your skills in voiceover work and news reporting, send us an email at publicaffairs.edu.ph. Once again, that's publicaffairs.edu.ph. Who knows? You might be El Cuento's next host. Once again, I am Justin Angeles, and this is El Cuento.